It's about 8 a.m. right now, and around 9 o'clock, I'll have a hearing on a, um, a difficult motion in front of a tough judge. So I thought I'd make a video, as I was thinking of it, of dealing with tough judges, or difficult judges. Now, judges can be difficult in many different ways. Right? Obviously, there's the judge who um, imposes harsh sentences on defendants. That would be a tough judge. There's also judges who uh, have a tendency to berate lawyers and litigants um, and basically whoever crosses their path throughout the, the day. And some lawyers um, just seem to make rules up as they go. So th these are sort of the different variety of tough judges. Now, when you go into the courtroom, um, the, the judge seems almost all powerful. Right? Judge comes out, everybody has to stand up till the judge sits down, then everybody sits down. When you address the judge, you need to stand up, uh, refer to him as your honor. You're surrounded by court officers if you get out of line, the judge has the power to have you uh, taken into custody, held in contempt, and thrown in the lockup. Right? He can also sanction or impose fines on you um, if you cause problems in the courtroom. So the judge has a tremendous amount of power. All this while he uh, literally sits on a pedestal, so you have to look up at the judge. Uh, and he responds to you. You don't. Um, you don't wait to be addressed by him. So the whole power dynamic in the courtroom is set up in the judge's favor. And if he's a difficult person or a volatile person, it can be very, very hard to deal with him. Uh, he can make your life miserable. So here are a few tips that I have if you have to deal with such a judge. The first one. And the most obvious one is that you need to be prepared. All right. Now, being prepared won't necessarily save you from the judge's derision. But if you're unprepared, you can absolutely guarantee he's going to pounce on you uh, when he notices this. Right? So obviously, be prepared. Second, you need to be brief. Right? You need to get in get out. Get in, make your points, all right? Make all the points you need to make, be as concise as possible, and then end your argument. If you start rambling right, and talking about things that aren't uh, aren't pertinent to the case, the judge is going to lay into you for sure, all right? So don't give him the rope to hang you with, all right? Keep it brief, stay on point. The third point, and this is equally obvious, don't argue with the judge. Right? You cannot win. Like I said, all the dynamics are set up to be in his favor. Um, and if you start arguing with the judge, uh, you can feel the, the courtroom start to turn against you, especially if you're in a courtroom um, where people are not familiar with you. Right? If you're a regular in a certain courthouse, um, this is less the case, but if you're a stranger in the courthouse, you start to argue with the judge. Um, you could see the court officers and the probation officers and the clerks uh, start to turn against you. Don't do it, and like I said, if you get uh, out of hand, uh, you could be thrown in lockup held in contempt or you can be sanctioned. So don't argue, all right? If you don't like the, the judge's decision, you can appeal it. If the judge has been unprofessional or unethical, you could file a complaint with the CJC, all right? But you have to do it outside of the courtroom. Right? And lastly, um, if you can, you can strategically avoid certain judges. Now this takes experience. Right? You need to be a regular at certain courthouses 
before you realize what judge what judges are there on what days there are some judges who routinely take certain days off there are other judges who rotate so they'll be in certain courts certain weeks and even throughout the week they'll go to different courts um, every month there is a judge's roster published that shows what judges will be where that's on my website so if you have an important uh, motion that needs to be heard a plea a bench trial it, during those situations it might make sense for you to shop around and pick a good date where you're likely to have uh, a judge who's not uh, tough or, or difficult to deal with. I've written a blog post on this and I'll put it in the description below.